I'm Hope, November Delta Tier Lima, and this is our friend Ridge, November 3 Juliet Uniform Yankee. And so today we're at his house working on the field goal box that we're going to be making. Um, right now we're working on a back panel where the connectors are going to be, sort of like we had in one of our old goal boxes. Um, but we needed to come to his house because we didn't have the right tools for drilling the big holes. Yeah, drill press. <laughs> So, um, I was going to show you how to use this center punch. This is a spring-loaded center punch. Some people call it an EMT punch. But uh, basically, you mark where you want to make the little uh, dimple, and then you just put it down on that point and push down a couple of times, and it, uh, and it makes your uh, center dimple so the drill bit doesn't skate when you uh, start drilling. You want to try it? Yeah, so we've already marked where we want them. Now you gotta push down. Right, there you go. Yeah. So that'll make a hole so that you know where to drill. This is fun. Okay. Cool. All right. Next, we're what we're gonna do since we need to drill a five eighths diameter hole. I think is what we decided. We're gonna use this hole saw, which is also cuts metal. Uh, but it has a pilot center uh, that it's fairly large. I'm not sure what diameter that is, maybe quarter or a little less. But we all, you always want to start with anything metal or wood or anything. You always want to start with a small hole, like a pilot hole, and then, and then work gradually larger. So I'm just going to pick something kind of part way in the middle uh, up for a, a bit and put it in the uh, drill press. Tighten it with the chuck key. Okay. Now, position the work. One thing nice about a drill press is sometimes you don't really even have to put it. You don't have to really even make a uh, punch a center hole because it'll it doesn't skate like a like a hand drill. But um, in this case, since we've already done it. Probably the best way to hold the work in place is to lower the bit down on the center punch like that and just hold it with that and then we'll take our bench clamp here and clamp it down. That's, that holds the work against the table. Did I tighten that? No. Okay. Thanks. secured the table in place and we've secured the work to the table so all you got to do to turn the drill press on is just pull that out okay and then you just want to slowly lower this by, by pushing down on this lever and with metal you want um, a lot of downward pressure but low rpms on the drill bit okay so you don't want the bit to go real fast so I've got it set at a pretty low speed and so you're just going to push down uh, you won't feel much resistance anyway with a um, with aluminum. I put a drop of three-in-one oil right on the point, and that just lubricates things and keeps it cool. Okay, you want to try it? Goggles. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Back up. Good. Now that was for the big hole, right? That we're not going to do. It's right? for the big yeah. hole. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to unclip it. Hmm. Excuse me. There we go. All right, so let's move it over to one of these holes. And again, I'm just going to set the point of the bit in the dimple, and then we'll clamp it down. Okay. Good it seems deal. like it would be harder. What? The metal? To, to drill through. Well, aluminum is very soft uh, compared to the steel bit. Now, when we start drilling that steel piece, 
uh, you'll find that that's a little bit different. Just deeper in this a little bit. Here. So it sits flat on the table. It made some burrs where it came through, and I was trying to get those off so that it sits nice and flat on the table. Okay. You always want to clamp work to a drill press or anything, because if you don't set this clamp, once the bit goes through, it'll grab hold of the work and it'll try to spin it around like this and you can hurt yourself. So you always want to secure the work to the, when you're using a table tool, like, like a drill press or a table saw or something like that. Okay. You put some oil on the top? Looks like it's got some that was okay. still on the bit, so okay. I think you're okay. Okay, so now we've drilled all our pilot holes, so let's take the work off of here for a minute, and we're going to change out this bit, put the, the uh, hole saw bit in there, and to do that you got to loosen the chuck with the key. This is a metal cutting hole saw, so it'll cut a 5 8 diameter hole, but first that little pilot bit's going to make a little bit smaller hole to start out with. And we want to make sure that this hole saw is going to clear the hole in the table so we don't have to drill the hole through the uh, tool table. Okay. All right, everything's secure. So you want to go ahead and try clamping it? Oh, wait a minute. We, we got another burr on here. Let me get rid of that. Ridge, you can drill that first one with the burr and it'll be gone. Well, that's true. Yep, that'll work. Good idea. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Remember, you're going to lower the on there and make sure that the uh, work stays put and then push the and then close the clamp. There you go. Okay. All right, now this one, let me do the first one for you so you can see how it works. What this is going to do is it's going to try to clog up those teeth because, again, aluminum is soft. So we're probably going to have to do this a little bit at a time. And we'll start down through it, and then we'll have to raise it back up out of the work and clean the teeth off and then go again. So in this one, you don't want to push down real hard. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go down through now that the pilot bit is clear, so now we're going to start drilling our hole, or cutting our hole, I should say. And I'm just raising it, up, raising it up from time to time. Put the oil on the channel. It's clogged up, so I'm going to just take clean that off with my 
my finger. I'll stop the tool before you try to do that. <laughs> I just want to be very, very cautious about putting your hands anywhere near a moving power tool. Just see how we did as far as getting the size right. See, it made a nice clean round hole, and we got it pretty close to right. Huh? All right, you want to try one? Let me uh, clean the table off here. Anything that you leave on the table is going to make this not sit level, so you want to be sure that everything's off of there. Okay, now what I like to do when I set this clamp is I hold the piece in place by putting the, the, the bit down on it. So it does two things. It centers the bit and it holds the piece in place while I set the clamp. So I'm going to let it go and let you do the whole thing. So why don't you come around in front. There you go. Good. All right. Okay. Let's get that curly cue off of there. All right. to the other handle, you can do that too. That's great. Feel it stopping? Okay, so let's clean the, clean the tailings out of there. Just make sure that's all nice and clean. little washers. <laughs> okay. okay, you're gonna unclamp it. And... Okay. So we'll keep doing this for the other ones, but that's basically it. 73. 73. 